channel if you are interested in beauty fashion or gaming you can check out my other channels down below but this is the channel strictly for food and fun stuff in particular this series is where I find cooler interesting things on social media mainly on Instagram where I think that it's trending or that it just looks cool and I want to attempt to make it so recently I saw one or two posts not really that many I can't really find much on this type of stuff because I don't know where it's from I don't know what it's called officially. I've just seen like one or two videos and a few pictures. So if you guys have any more information about this type of thing, please let me know. But they are these spiked donuts that I've seen people making and I thought it was so cool looking. It does have a bit of a process that it does show you how it's being made as well. And I did change it up a little bit because I don't really feel like making red beans slash I've bought pre-made red bean before and it tastes terrible. So. I'm just using frosting. But if you guys do know where it originated from or have any more information, please let me know down below because let's credit the originals because this is just me making it at home like an amateur, so it probably doesn't taste as good as the actual ones that people make for a living. If you guys do want to see me taste it and the results, please watch till the end of the video because I'm going to taste it for you guys. Just like any other dough recipe with yeast, start with warm water that you can touch and mix it in. If the water is too hot to touch, it can kill the yeast, so just make sure it's at a comfortable temperature. Then just set it aside for a few minutes. I will be using a bread machine to mix my dough, but if you don't have one, mix the ingredients as you add them. Add in some milk, vanilla, salt, sugar, butter, egg, the yeast mixture, and flour. I will leave the recipe that I used in the description box down below. Since I am using a bread machine, I don't have to knead it as it does it for me like a mixer, but if you do not have a bread machine, which I'm sure most of you don't have, because even I don't have one, this is my mom's, just knead it by hand and let it prove for a bit. When the dough is ready, split it into small equal portions depending on how big you want your donut to be. Then roll or smooth out the shape. I find a tucking and squeezing motion under the ball works best. After that, just saran wrap all of them and let it rest for half an hour to an hour depending on how warm your environment is. When the dough has expanded a bit more, grabbing some scissors, I oiled it with a little bit of butter, cut little triangles all around the top of the dough. Now prep the oil for deep frying. When you put a wooden spoon or chopstick in and bubbles form around it, it's ready. Otherwise, you can just test it with a small piece of dough that you can just toss in and see how it reacts. Gently place the donut into the hot oil, flipping every so often. A minute or two on each side should do the trick. You can always just insert a toothpick in after to check. Then just remove the cooked donut and place it onto a paper towel to soak in the excess oil. I believe that these are typically made with red bean paste inside, but I'm just going to make things simple and fill mine with some pre-made vanilla frosting that I just put into a piping bag with a metal tip. When the donuts are completely cooled, use a tool to poke a hole and create space inside for the frosting. I used the chopstick because it was the perfect size. Then just pipe in the frosting. You'll be able to see it gets really full with the more frosting that you pipe in. Try to be careful not to overpipe because it will spew out if there's not enough space on the inside. But after that, you're done. It's time to taste this. Okay, so this is what the finished product looks like and it is half eaten, sorry about that. But my mic was on super low and on the wrong setting, my fault. But here is an inserted clip of me trying it out on super low volume. Let's just give this a try and hit for the best. Ow. Boy. Alright, so overall thoughts. One, it tastes fantastic. 
two, this needs to be eaten fresh because I tasted one last night and it was very fluffy, but this morning when I'm eating it now in front of the camera, it is a lot more dense. Like, it, I don't even know how that happens. It's kind of crazy how it goes from fluffy to dense within like a few hours, I guess. <laughs> Three, I did find that the spikes did harden a bit overnight, so it did poke the top of my mouth a little bit, but it's nothing major, it didn't hurt or anything, it's just I felt it poking, as to opposed to last night when I tried it, where it felt fine and it was very soft. Four, whatever number this is, I don't know. This is my first time deep frying, so I had no idea what I was doing. So the first time that I made these, actually, this is the only time that I made them, but when I made them last night, and I put the filling in and everything, and then I wanted to try and taste it because I was just so hungry. It was a little undercooked, so I did have to put it back in the toaster oven to make it edible and because I did that, the icing did melt and it kind of seeped into the donut making it super moist and also it, the frosting did kind of disappear, so there isn't much icing in there anymore. But if you do make it properly and you cook it for, I don't know, maybe like a little longer, a minute or two on each side, instead of just waiting for it to float and then saying, oh, it's done, then it'll probably turn out fine and you don't have to put it in the toaster oven thus making all your icing disappear. Besides all those points though, if I did cook it properly and if I did cook it through all the way the first time, I think that this was definitely a success and I'm kind of glad that I got to deep fry it for the first time because I've never done it before. It was a little nerve-wracking but it's okay, it's a learning experience. Maybe I'll get better over time. I want you guys to comment down below and let me know what type of things you want me to recreate. Give me a big thumbs up if you like this video and make sure you subscribe with the notification bell clicked down below. And I guess I will see you guys later. Bye!